Hello everybody! Today I am going to show you how to make arguably my favorite Whole30 dish. They are the Mexican tuna boats and I actually got this recipe from the Whole30 book. Let me show you the book. This is the book I'm talking about. It's not the cookbook, the Whole30 cookbook that they have. It's just the general Whole30 kind of guidebook. Um, so I got the recipe from this book. I'll link this book down below as well as the cookbook if you're interested in buying that. This is a super simple, super healthy, and super delicious recipe that I would make on and off of the Whole30. Again, it's a good lunch or dinner. Me and my friend Haley made it um, and had it and she loved it. So stick around if you're interested in learning how to make Mexican tuna boats and I hope you guys enjoy. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday or Friday, sometimes both. I hope you guys enjoy. See you next week. Bye. All right, so to start out, I am going to take one, the recipe calls for one avocado, but I'm only gonna use a half because I'm only gonna use one can of tuna. The recipe calls for two cans of tuna, but this is just gonna be a little bunch for me. Squeeze out my avocado. Then I am just going to mash my avocado in this bowl. And I'm gonna leave my avocado a little chunky. Next, next I'm going to take my tuna. I got my tuna from Costco and it's actually really, really good. And then I am going to drain the liquid into the sink. And then you just wanna flake the tuna off or from the can into your bowl of avocado. With this recipe, it's really nice because you don't really have to do everything by the measurements that they tell you to do them. I honestly just eyeball a lot of the things, as you'll see, um, and add it to the mixture because you can't really, I mean, you could, it'd be hard to mess this up, I guess is what I'm saying. I'm going to mash that together. If I had more avocado, I would add more, but I only have two left and I don't want to... <laughs> have to go back to the store and buy more for the week. Um, so then I'm going to just set my bowl aside and I'm going to take some chives sorry, and it calls for three green onions thinly sliced. So I'm just gonna cut off the ends because these are getting a little old. I am just going to slice these pretty thinly. And then I'm just going to add it to the tuna bowl. I love green onions, so for me, the more the merrier, kind of like avocado. Next, we are going to take the juice from, the recipe calls for one and a half limes, but since I'm not doing two cans of tuna, I think I'll probably only do a half of lime. So I'm just going to squeeze in the lime juice. I think another reason why I like this recipe is that you don't need anything crazy and it doesn't require you to do anything crazy. Because a lot of the recipes I feel like require like a food processor or I don't know. I like simple meals or something I can just throw together and then leave on the stove or in the oven and then I can get on with my life. I think that's enough lime juice. It calls for half of a jalapeno so again I am going to do less since I only did one can of tuna and I like spicy stuff but not not that much. So I'll leave some seeds in there and I'm just gonna chop them. They're a little bigger than I like them but that's okay. Then I think I'm only going to do that much of the last piece. I am just going to add this to the pot. And next, the recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of chili powder. I'm just going to eyeball it and put as much as I think there should be. That looks good to me. 
And then all you need is salt and pepper. So again, I'm just gonna eyeball it, but the recipe calls for a half a teaspoon. Well, that was probably too much. And then you mix it all together. The recipe says to put them in two endive leaves, but instead of that, I am going, but instead of using endive, 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 I think that's how you say it. Uh, I like to put mine in lettuce leaves. So I'm just gonna keep stuffing my pieces of lettuce until I'm out of my tuna mixture. And that is how you make the Mexican tuna boats. I hope you guys found this video helpful and maybe try this recipe out yourself. If you do, let me know how you like it. I definitely would eat this not being on the Whole30. It's so, so good and so, so simple and is really good for you. So that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.